Hi everybody, today we are going to go over audio effects inside of Ableton Live. Now Ableton comes inbuilt with a huge amount of effects. So if we come over to the browser window here and we click audio effects, you can see that there is a lot in here. So this is not going to be a tutorial on breaking down what each and every one is. It's just going to be a quick way of showing you how you can start experimenting with them. Uh, how you actually pull them in and put them on a channel um, and that sort of thing. It's not going to be in depth of what each effect does. Um, so this is just going to get you set up so you can start experimenting and start learning what they do. So uh, I've got this audio sample here that I've pulled in from my browser window uh, and I'm just going to audition that. So I'm going to select the clip and press play. Cool, so you can hear what that sounds like. I'm going to click on the clip, I'm going to press Z so that I move zoom way in on it. So let's click that, press Z, and now we can see it up close, okay? So uh, first things first is the first, uh, the first audio effect here is an amp. So we can select the amp and we can click and drag onto the channel that we would like, or if we uh, select the channel and then double click, that also will put the effect down here. So we'll quickly just look at an overview of the plugins in a very general sense. So the first thing is this yellow, yellow button here, this turns on and off the effect. So when the yellow is uh, bright, that means the effect is turned on. When it's uh, grayed out like that, it means the effect is turned off. So that is the first important control. The second important control that's going to exist on most of these plugins is dry wet. Okay. So dry would mean the signal before any effect has been applied to it. And then wet would indicate uh, not so much of the original signal, but uh, all the affected sound. So it's basically the ratio between uh, before and after the effect. So when we've got 100% wet, we're only hearing 100% of that effect applied. If we've got it 50, we're going to hear 50% of the original signal before any effect, and then 50% of the signal after the effect has been applied. Uh, so that will give you an idea where you can only apply a small amount of that effect. You don't have to necessarily give it all that it's got. So what does that amp sound like once we've pulled it in? What does it change? Cool. So we can A, B what it sounds like before. So we'll turn it off and play. We'll turn it on and play. Cool. So it's more of an aggressive sound. It sounds louder and the high part of that bass sound is more uh, in your face, so to speak. So that's how you just pull in a regular amp. I'm going to select the channel. Uh, I'm going to select the device up the top and I'm going to press delete to get rid of it. I'm going to drop down this downward arrow and I can see that there's actually a whole lot of, uh, let's say presets. So I can grab heavy and I can click and drag and then I can press spacebar to audition what that sounds like. <laughs> Cool. So that is very aggressive. And let's say, all right, I like that, but let's pull it back a little bit. So we can pull back on this dry wet and we can say, we'll, we'll just let 40%. So we're still getting the aggression, but it's not completely saturating the sound. Cool. So that's a look at the amps. I'm going to select that and turn it off. What else do we have here? We've got filters. So we can grab that filter. We can click and drag. So it's the same principle of pulling it into a channel. And then we've got some controls here. So again, we've got the on off. And with a filter, you could start playing around with the frequency and see what it does. So if I pull it all the way down here, all right, we don't get any crispiness of the sound if I pull it up. Okay, sweet. So I can see if I played around with that, we're going to get some interesting uh, effects. And we're able to chain a whole bunch of things together. So let's put the amp first. We'll put it on the heavy setting. And we're already starting to create effects chains that are doing interesting things. We've got other effects like a ping pong delay, uh, where we just pull the dry wet down and we'll play that and see how it sounds. Cool, that's very trippy. Um, 
We've got pedal effects, that's like a distortion. So there's all sorts of different things that we can do with the pedal effects. Now, again, to reiterate, this is not a tutorial to show you how every single, what every single uh, effect plugin does, but a lot of them speaks for itself. If you're, if you're already in the, the audio world, you know an amplifier, it's modeling a, a guitar and this sort of thing, a, a guitar amplifier. Um, so that is how you pull in effects and start using them. So you've got your on off switch, which is very important, and then your dry wet. Okay, so that will get you started. You can pull things on, you can make massive big long chains of effects and see what everything does. Uh, and that's a fantastic way of getting in and learning. So that is how you use audio effects, just very basically to pull them in on the channels and start using them. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching my videos. If you'd like to support the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, you can follow me on Facebook, you can uh, find my music pages uh, in the links in the comment description below. You can jump on our Discord server. I've got the link for that down below. And I just want to alert you guys about um, Steemit, DTube, and DSound. So if you guys are into cryptocurrency, I've got links for all of that down in the video description. I've got profiles on there, so jump on and follow me. And uh, these platforms look really promising and look like they're really going to change things for content producers. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in another video.